Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Money, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. So today, you guys, we are talking about living in the overflow. Now, this episode was inspired by my new best-selling book, Honor the Love Within, Your Pathway to Self-Love and Success. You can find this book on Amazon, or you can go over to honorthelovewithin.com and just click the link and purchase from there. Now, today is about filling your own cup till it overflows. Today's episode is based on the law of mind, which states all creation begins in the mind. We'll also focus on the law of manifestation and vibrational attainment. Now that law states that your thoughts are energy vibration and that whatever you think about, that's what you bring about. So your energy vibrations attract positive or negative energy based on what you put out. Now let's talk about magic for a little while because I love the word magic. I love magical thinking and ideas. To me, it's equivalent to miracles, but a step further. And so a lot of people get confused because we talk about light magic and then we also talk about dark art magic. Now what I believe in and what I practice is light magic. I am a light worker, spirit light being, and so I focus on being in the light, living in high vibration. And so everything that I'm talking about is from a positive perspective. And so let's talk about magic for a little bit. What is magic? Magic is the science of using and understanding the power and energy of your subconscious mind to achieve your desired results. Let's go over that again. Magic is the science of using and understanding the power and energy of your subconscious mind to achieve your desired results. Today, I'm encouraging you to surrender to the magic of who you are. I'm encouraging you to choose freedom, embrace freedom, to know that you are free to be you. So what does that look like? First, we'll start by our thoughts and our intentions. The number one step is you want to be clear on your intentions. So set clear intentions. Faith without works is dead. While taking action is better than doing nothing or dreaming or talking about doing something, action without thought is a waste of energy. So today I am encouraging you to focus and give thought to what you are choosing for your life. Be sure to include your by wind days. For example, let's say you want to visit a place and you pick the place and you want to go there sometime in 2022, but you're really not clear as to when you want to go. So maybe you want to do a little research to find out when is the best time to go to the place, when are the prices the best, when is the season matching the season that you would like to go there. Like me, I try to avoid cold climate places. So you may want to consider that so you can have more clarity and you can set clear intentions. And by setting a by when date, that helps you to do that. Number two, stay in the present moment. Now, there is no such thing as past or future when you're dealing with your subconscious mind. It can't tell the difference, right? It doesn't know if what you're seeing is real or if it's something imagined. It does not know. So the power, your power, is in the present moment. So it's very important for you to be in this moment. The past is over and done with. The only thing that you can do with the past is Sankofa. To learn the lesson and then to bring the lesson forward with you. And the future? Well, the future is created in the present moment. So when you really think about time, we say future, but really there is no such thing as a future, technically. We use the term future because it helps us to relate to you better. And so that's why we use the term future, but everything is happening right here right now in the present moment and you create your quote-unquote future in the present moment this is where your power is right now now speaking of your power i want to tell you about a new upcoming class that we have we created this class just for you it's called manifest your dreams now for 49 dollars, we will help you gain clarity on how to manifest your dreams to life in one week and during this week with us you will learn everything from how to set clear intentions to my secret sauce of manifesting 
So if that's something that you're interested in, just check the link down below. We'll have the information. You can go over and sign up for our wait list. And as the class become open, we will send you a link and then you can sign up. Now back to the lesson. So just to recap, one, you want to set clear intentions. Two, you want to stay in the present moment. And number three, you want to take action. Again, magic is the science of using and understanding the power and energy of your subconscious mind to achieve your desired results. But magic needs to be stirred up. So to begin to make your dream a reality, you need to take action today. Now, some examples of stirring. Let's go to the Holy Bible. I call it the magic book because there's so much in this book that if you just read it and you apply it to your life, you can manifest your dreams to life. You can create your own magic. So in John 5, 4, it says, For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool, and he stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. So that tells us that magic must be stirred up. You have to stir up your magic. The second example is when Paul was speaking to Timothy. And this is 2 Timothy 1 and 6. For which cause I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in thee through the laying of my hands. So what this tells me is that the gift, the magic is within you. It is within me. It is within you already. But you must take action in order to stir up the gift so you can manifest the magic within you. So we're in planting season. We're still officially in spring. This is planting season. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to release? What action are you willing to take today in order to stir up the gift within you, to stir up the magic within you in order to manifest the magic within? What are you willing to do? And the end result is so you can live in overflow. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this episode has been of value. Don't forget to share, like, all that good stuff. And click on the link below if you're interested in manifesting your dreams. Click on the link below. Come on and get on our wait list. And we're going to start the class real soon. And until we speak again, be the light.